The city of Allegan is taking this first day of spring as an opportunity to kick off the transformation of its downtown. After several years of community meetings and creating a vision, the work is finally underway. One, two, three. <laughs> downtown Allegan is about to get a makeover. There's a lot of energy in downtown Allegan right now. City manager Joel Dye says it goes beyond the benches, bike racks, and public art installations the project holds in store. In addition to streetscape, it really is an infrastructure project. So it's going to be new sewer lines, new water mains, new lead service lines are be all replaced wider sidewalks. The last time Allegan saw upgrades, it was the mid-1980s. It hasn't been fully reconstructed in more than 70 years. It's probably been needed for several decades now. And we're very thankful that the community was able to come together, create the vision, and then with the assistance of our federal and state partners, and local partners, we were able to find the funding to pull this off. The project will take two years to complete, but it's been in the works for nearly six. The whole community was invited to give their input, including pharmaceutical giant Perigo. Downtown business owners also played a big part in the planning, including Landria Johnson, the owner of the Sassy Olive. There's a charm down here and something that I don't know exactly how to explain, but it's a beautiful area, and this is just really going to elevate us to the next level. Johnson says if people can look past the dust for the next two years, the wait is going to be worth it. I look forward to this so much because it's going to really level up the entire downtown as a whole, and it's going to invite more businesses down here in the future. In the past several years, we have had over $8 million in private investment and 20 new businesses, and we are always looking for more and open for more. While this project is ongoing, MDOT will be installing a roundabout at the M40, M89, and Hubbard Street Junction.